Hi right, guys, Parker from PA Brew News. Looks like the battery's going low, which is not a good thing, but I gotta get to bed, so I'm gonna do this beer review and see if we have. This is Rochefort Trappist 12, 10, sorry. Yep, Trappist Rochefort 10. Uh, 11.3 alcohol by volume, wow, big boy. Rochefort, let's see. Ooh. Not a lot of information on here. Belgian ale, of course. So, it's uh, the brewery, the beer of Trappist from Rochefort. So I'm assuming it's from Rochefort, uh, Rochefort, Belgium. It didn't seem like it blew up everywhere, so that's a good thing. Okay. I was told Let's just pour it all in, all right? I was informed anyway, um, I believe, that this is a quad. So, please forgive me if I am incorrect. Wow, immediate head dissipation. Immediate. Um, you can autom I can automatically see a lot of lively bubble action coming off and just foaming over the top. Uh, the sedimentation looks absolutely hard. Oh, what a shame. I don't know. I don't think there's any amount of shaking I can do to break up it. Wow. The sedimentation really just looks disgusting. I, I'm To me, this mean, it's basically like you grated up chocolate and just dumped it in. You know what I mean? It's not a good sedimentation. I thought it would be a lot smoother than that. A little bit of a shake, shake, you know what I mean? But no. Well, let's give it a go anyway. But to me, that seems distasteful. A sedimentation should just, just haze. You know what I mean? Eh, whatever. Let's get a smell. Really dark. Yeah, I'm actually getting more like a, like almost hints, very very faint wafts of almost coffee as coffee as kind of toasted grains, some of like really burnt caramel. Not too much, but a very dark, a dark side of an ale. So let's get a smell or a taste rather. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Zippy carbonation. But molasses, brown sugars, raisins, plums. A little bit of a red apple in there. Wow. I'm almost tasting those kind of beet sugar notes. Super sweet, a lot of sweetness. Lingering sweetness too. This doesn't dry you out like some doubles and stuff. This really just lingers with the sweetness. For I think it's a quad. 7.3 doesn't doesn't show the 11.3. Taste maybe a more like an eight. Seven eight zippy carbonation. It's still fully carbonated, but it is drinking really, really treat-like. Very sweet, very, very um, thick in in the overall flavors. A little bit of a viscosity because almost a syrupy approach to it. It's not super thick, but it's definitely a medium mouthful. Mouth feel. No, it's viscous. It's got that viscosity that a lot of Belgian nails don't have. Yeah, then I'm getting uh, like now a little bit more faint on the back. I'm getting a little bit more of that kind of peel, that rind of the apple. Different nail.
Mm. Yes, very tasty, very sweet. I think this is a very, very well done ale, and it's it's not hitting the super like oh my god crazy marks, but I'm still gonna give this one a solid 9.5. 9.5 for Rosh Fort 10. This is Paul Pierre Brunus. Cheers.